for the best Boss talk We ain't worried about the rest Check it, check it, check it. This is your unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, Madeo. Well, go on. Y'all, stop what y'all doing right, right now and go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media flat platforms. I mean, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But we also are on Patreon. That's where we drop all our full length interviews way before our clips start. And also our YouTube membership. So if y'all want to check that out before all these clips start dropping, Okay, you know it's going to take about a month before you can see the full-length interview for free. All right? So, definitely check it out. Subscribe. Y'all love our platform. Love what we do. Just go ahead and support the brand. Yo, yo, yo. Check it, man. Hey, it's your boy ECEO back in the building one more again, man. Uh, we got a guy here today. He don't need no introduction, man. From Kansas City, Missouri, man. Stop playing, man. Stop. Yeah. Niggas, show your love for CW, the young Blood. Yeah. He's in the building. Yeah, yeah. Mother, what's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling. You know, enjoying Dallas. Tell know. me something good. You snuck up here in our city. We don't even know. I, I, you didn't even check in, nigga. I didn't check in. <laughs> I didn't check in for real. I, I, I gotta do better. You know. Say, what I'm man. Saying? Next time you got to check in, man. Yeah. What do you think about the check in process, man? I always ask that. Uh, depend on where you at, cause I ain't gonna lie. If you come to Kansas City and you plan on hanging out, like. Like, like, say if I come here and I'm and I'm hanging out in Oak Cliff, I might want to know somebody from over there. I recommend the same thing in Kansas City. It's like I don't call it just pure checking in, but you definitely need to tap in and make sure you know you you sliding with some people that's gonna make sure you don't drift off to nowhere you don't need to be. You know yeah, you get some work done while you was here working a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I, I did two studio sessions. Uh, I shot a video. Uh, and then I'm doing this right here. Man, you know check it. Saying? This the biggest thing that done happened. I, what? Period. What? This hey. boss talk. What a boss hey. talk. I don't know what hey. these other niggas doing, but over hey. here, I move my getting it. Hey. In. I move my flight for this. Why you not? Know what I'm saying? Nigga, niggas hey. flying in for this. It's an opportunity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity. Hey, let's go, man. Let's take him there. So I want to know because I like to know you as a person, not always as an artist. Yeah, for sure. So growing up in Kansas City, because Kansas City, especially Kansas City, Missouri, is because I saw something earlier today and it says it's ranked one of the top 15 cities, the most violent, mm -hmm. the most, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not number three, it's not number four. It dropped down in rank. It probably was like number 10 or something like that. But let me tell you, you grew up there. Do you think that's correct? Them niggas some head busters. You heard the nigga name CW, the young blood. <laughs> you heard this nigga a head buster. Nah, 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 I, would, nah, I, I would. I would definitely agree. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't contest it, or I believe it. Is that bad? Yeah, it's kind of. It's especially to be so small. I think. I think our metropolitan area is a half a million people. Mm -hmm. So for the amount of you know problems we be having, uh, you know, I, yeah. It's one of them places, though. Uh, yeah, my my boy, he call it misery. You know, can't see the misery, like you know. So. Well, tell me about an incident that you saw there uh, that, that I saw. Yeah, without calling no I names, gonna, if you can't call. Yeah, I was no gonna say that I ain't gonna be too specific, <laughs> right. but somebody uh, that's kind of like on my level. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an artist in the city. Man, he was uh, just got out of uh, prison. Um, you know, he was trying to turn his life around. You know. Uh, he's he's running around just getting back on the music. Uh, he was shooting videos, you know, getting his feet wet. And then he uh, started to do a couple shows. I believe it was maybe the second show he did. They they caught him coming out the show. They they killed him and everybody he was with. You mm. know what I'm saying? Just just any and a, and a, and what what hurts is like we get to thinking like was that show even worth it like I know he was chasing his dream but I just feel like everybody know if you get deeper into the story everybody know that's not where you want to do a show really like they tried to book me recently and I said nah I'm just, oh so there's certain places you, but if you're from there you would think you would know where and where you can go where not to go yeah how to move if you need to move with security you know nah you know like sometimes you just get too comfortable you, you know you can so you can be on your toes 23 hours of the day but that one hour where you get lax, where you don't have a few drinks in the club, mm -hmm. and you run out chasing after a girl, you know that could be it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just stuff like that. Like you really got to even watch it, just pursuing your career around mm -hmm. there. Like people like get, you know, what do you call it? like bragging brownie points, whatever, mm -hmm. off you know taking down somebody that oh this y'all favorite rapper. All right, watch this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's that's the weird, you know, kind of like. Oh, man, you know, but... So were you raised with your mom and dad? 
I was raised with my mother and my stepfather. And your stepfather, what yeah. was your father? Uh, my father, <laughs> man, uh, oh, he lived in Dallas. Really? Yeah. It's like you just remember. No, like, I just oh. thought, hold on. I, no, I thought about it. He lived in Dallas. He uh, lived in Dallas. Yeah, he he just was one of the, you know. You so know you knew him know. or you knew of him? I knew of him. Okay, so how him. old were you when you met him? My father? Yes. Or did you ever meet him? I, I, I don't remember meeting him. I remember being seven on Christmas in Best Buy and we were about to spend our Christmas money and I see him in line and he just like, oh, what's up? He didn't give me no money or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. And then when I got so older- So you must have had a picture of him because when you saw him, you knew who he was. My mother pointed him out. I, oh, okay. you know, I was to the point where I had to ask my mother sometimes, hey, what's my daddy name? Like, what's his name? Mm -hmm. Like, I, that's what kind of it was for me. I didn't, at one point I didn't remember his name. I did link up with him when I was like 25 and I kind of like confirmed what I needed to know. You know how you do that. Like, I'm going I'm to tap in. I came out to Dallas one time mm. and he, he had wrote me on Facebook. I'm like, man, I'm going to go, you know. So he reached out. Yeah, That's he reached good. out. So yeah. he wanted to know you. He did, I guess, but I, 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 I saw where it went after that. It wasn't really here. So it didn't nothing. fulfill. Nah. You know how sometimes when you're a kid, you're like, you had the questions like, why weren't you there? You know, I needed. Uh, I know you had a stepfather. Yeah, and 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 that's a that's the that's the that's kind of like the sad thing about this. He got big shoes like to fill. He my expectations is high cause because my stepfather, stepfather is one of them. You okay. know what I'm saying? Great guy. Like got I didn't it. I didn't have I don't I don't feel like I was missing any type of father figure thing or mm -hmm. like that. So I wouldn't I didn't have no daddy issues. But kudos to your mom because the reason why I'm gonna say that part of it, because at least she pointed out and, and let you know that that's your father, because there's a lot of women out here who I know of personally mm -hmm. who will hide that fact from their kids, be like, No, you ain't got a daddy. I oh yeah, my no, my my mother, my mother was the type to let us know, like, hey, he said he gonna do this. I'm gonna let y'all see if he do it. He said he gonna do this. Yeah. I don't, you know, he said he gonna send you a PlayStation. I don't know. You know, she, she kind of let us see, you know, for She never uh, really, she didn't talk bad to him. If, if they ever had an argument, she'd go across the, you know, house and close the door. Like, it, it wasn't ever nothing like that. Um, mm -hmm. So we, de I developed my own, like, you know, Judgment conclusion about it. Yeah, right. yeah, for sure. How many of y'all were there? I have a twin brother. Twin. Uh, that I, that and from my, you know, mm -hmm. with my mom and my my daddy, my biological father. He got like six or seven kids. I met one of them. Uh, shout you, out, shout out, the common oldest? sense. He common sense on uh, uh, Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's my brother. But you know, <laughs> yeah. Wow, it seemed like you know one thing about it, man. You know, I always tell the guys that come in here to have the issues with having you know i didn't meet my father i didn't get oh he didn't do this or he didn't do that you gotta always remember man that you know at least he got you here you know yeah, it something yeah. it was a reason why your mom connected with him it was yeah. it was it was stuff to it you know i didn't been into some relationships before i met my wife where if i'd have had a kid with this girl or that girl or whoever at the time we were doing it it might not have had a situation where i could even came back into it i mean you know what i'm saying so you have to force your way in and, and sometimes you just never know, you know, you really don't know the whole deal until you really, you can always hear it, like you always say, it's three, three sides, three sides to, a to a story. You never know. You nah, don't know. nah, I definitely, I definitely like, it's not, I, it, I don't even have an ill feeling about them for real. It's just like a, it is what it is. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, like yeah. you said, I understand like it's hard being a man, yeah. especially a, a man. A, a brother, you got, a, a, a man. A black man. Like oh, let me say a black man. Yeah. yeah, a black man from wherever you from, you know what I'm saying? And then you, you end up having three, four, five baby mamas. I, I already know. I, I understand. But then you think about it, you know, even with one, you know, like I said, I, I heard a lady saying this the other day about how the government preps it up to where, a lot of times they ex the father out. The government even do that. You nah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I'm, just with free Medicaid, different mm -hmm. ways they can help you. If you get with the man, they're going to take it mm -hmm. from you. They don't know if they can trust the mm -hmm. situation because the See, man like already been going him. through his stuff. And it's like hard to even deal with that. Hey, look, to the point where I feel like I was, I was corrupted in my head. Like, you know, when I first had children, I refused to sign the birth certificate because you automatically get put on child support. That's right. You, know what I'm you don't they know, but do you something. try to figure out if it's yours or yeah, not anyway. Man, and then, so it's like, you know, you know how it worked, man, so. But what the crazy thing is, with y'all saying that, I was watching a movie the other day and you had some girls sitting out on the porch outside, you know, chit-chatting outside in the country, whatever. And they dress all fly and stuff like that. You know that they're about the money. But they're like, oh, it's time, you know, patting their head, talking about <laughs> it's time for me to. And I'm like, you know, this is what they're showing people 
that we are. You know what I mean? And I'm like talking about, it's time for me to have another baby so I can get some more money from Uncle Sam, this, 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 this. And I'm like, so that's the message we give in to some of these people that, oh, because one of the girls was telling the other girl, oh, you need to get a job. And she's like, get a job for what? That's the way it be. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Like, and that's why you just got to be careful, man, and make sure you find somebody and, and get yourself together, too. It really ain't on the woman. I always put it on the man because yeah, the man sure. sets the presidents. If you're going to be with a woman, you need to have your stuff together. You need to know yeah. what you're not going to put up with. Yeah. You need to not compromise who you are as a man and focus on the fact of who you are with God, and then you can figure the rest out. See, I like the way you put that because that shows that whatever situation you get into, you take accountability first. You know what you I'm saying? To. You ain't just going to. As so a man, I'm you I'm learning to. how to do that more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As I'm getting older, like any situation, first take accountability, analyze it, what you could have did different. Well, you compromise then, something. Yeah, for sure. It, when you the man. Yeah. If you get with a girl today, you the man. If she do something, I always tell her it's my fault. I never blame her <laughs> because I'm the man. I ain't yeah. no reason. If a woman walking down a dark alley and you walking down a dark alley, Chances are, being a man, you could scare just with your voice, bro. You set the precedence on a lot of different things. So be the man that you are with God first, of course, I believe. And, and then you can learn how to, you know, help a woman to be your helpmate, I'll just say. Definitely. I, like, I think a lot of people don't take, take accountability, like you said. I do agree with that because then in relationships, too, um, if you're a man that know how to lead and not just lead by with your mouth, but actually lead by example. Mm -hmm. And even if she's not doing right and whatever, and you're, you're leading a certain way, you can encourage her to do right. And more, more times yes than not, she will follow. Yeah, she gonna follow. If I see a man and a woman on the side of the road and a man out there asking food for his family, I blame that man. Yeah. I don't blame that woman. Yeah. So that's why I tell you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's the man who people look at. If he's a white man, if you're an Indian man, if he's a black man, it's still always the man. I've seen Indian people sitting out with where the man's on the side of the road asking for food and money. And I'm like, what's up with this dude and his kids? How, could, how did it get there? I'm being real. So that's the, that's the way I look at it. So we just got a responsibility as men to step up. You know, we want to be the man. You know how we are. We want yeah, to be the yeah, man. Yeah. I'm the man around this yeah. thing. <laughs> but no, I want to get, I, I mean, I ain't want to take you that therapy is something else. My wife love mental health. So yeah, she going to snap you right there at it soon nah, as she straight, talked to that's you. Straight, but, that's but, straight. But, but, but you've seen the show, so you already yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when did you first see Boss Talk 101? The first boss talk. I was it when Charleston White got ran out of here by the OG? Nah, I seen you before uh, uh, Charleston you know, White. Yeah, it was a bar oh, it was. I started early I, with that ruckus. I had Mike Jones on here early. Oh, you know, oh, you know what? I was spending time in Dallas, and they put me on Mo Three. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You, Sean you know, first, the, No, no. First uh, boss talk was the manager. Rain, rain, water. rain water. Rain water. That was a good one. That boy there gonna always give you what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, right. In an interview, <laughs> oh, if, if you're a podcaster, he's one of those guys where if you can get him on your show, he gonna give you what you're looking for because uh, <laughs> you better have your mindset on straight because he gonna, and I, and I think a lot of people think he just doing this, doing that, but his character is like that. I, I don't I don't think he's faking. I, you can't fake this long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. but definitely went hard for Mo3. Yeah, and that's, sure. that's, that's the thing. They had a chemistry. It still is going hard. Still for is. They just did another project. So waiting to see what they do next. You know what I mean? Um, but that it's been a long run, man. Thank you for watching the show. Yeah, for no, sure. for sure. For um, sure. You, it's hard to for y'all not to be in somebody's algorithm who actually watches like, you know, Hip hop content or anything keep like it, that. We keep it popping though. Y'all, y'all and every y'all get a little bit of this person, that person. It's gonna be somebody on here that you. Oh need, yeah. You know oh yeah. Saying? Yeah. So we gonna rock out. And man. I don't want everybody to know we don't just do hip hop. We do everybody. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Play with y'all about just hip hop. We got doctors and lawyers and such on here, right? Yes, we do. Preachers too. Preachers. Everybody. The Bible said, "Whosoever will, let them come." Let them come. You had some pimps on here, didn't you? I had yes, some pimps on here. I had some, I had some <laughs> prostitutes on here. Nigga, yeah. this, is about, this yeah. is the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think the, a lot of times people look at it as you 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 want to you got to be specific on who you pick, but then you got to do something to show that I'm not just picking uh, people of one sort. You want to make sure uh, 
a melodic flavor is in here where people of every different nationality, race, not only that, just job opportunities, all kind of stuff. We done had uh, uh, corporate people in here. Uh, mayors, uh, 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 we interviewed that guy that's going for president for mm -hmm. Haiti. Like, we go in, man. That's all. That's what it's supposed to be. But we're going to get into uh, uh, what, what you've been doing, though. That, that, enough about us. I want to know, how old were you when you started in the music? When did you find your passion for music? Uh, I always had, like, a little bit of passion for it. Um, so early on in life, my mother found my rap book, you know what I'm saying, and she said, what, what is this? She, she didn't have the right reaction to it. So I was like, oh, I ain't messing with that. But then I got around my cousin, uh, Alan Wayne, the prodigy. He was doing music. Um, and he kind of like, so watching him How do music. How old were you this time? I had to be like, man, I had to be like 11. Okay. Like 11 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't do my first song till I was uh, 16, though, exactly. Okay. That's when I did my first song when I was 16. Mm. Yeah. So what inspired you to try to take it serious? You know, I see that almost every black person in America, especially males. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to try a hand at that rap game. Yeah, well, the the thing is, the the people I looked up to did it, you know, they did it at a high level. Um, like who? Uh, Tech Nine is like probably the, the the biggest artist in my family. You know what I'm saying? That you looked yeah, up uh, Tech Nine. No, he is the biggest nah, artist. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to correct you. Yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> you going to come on here with that same thing Life and Carter and, and, and Lustin came on. They come in here playing down the Tech Nine. No. Uh, uh, Movado when it comes down to Kansas hey, City. It, hey. Ain't no bigger hey. in Kansas. And it, I knew that. No, hold on. Hold on. It depends on what section you okay, in. Because so, okay, so, okay. Hey, I'll show you me in text uh, messages. I'll send it to him. Somebody sent me their Spotify wrap up. I was number one. He was number two. Oh, so you're bigger than him? In that house. In that house. So you <laughs> ain't gonna you know come on here and tell me you bigger than Tech Nine. In that Nick, house. Nigga, I didn't even write you to the date, nigga. Okay. You know what I mean? Now you all over there. You don't say you nigga. No, 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 no. You nigga wild as hell. He's saying that house. I don't want to hear that house. That's his friend's house. I don't give a damn who house it is. Listen, man, let me be honest with you, bro. When when Life and Carter and Chris and Lustin came on here, I said, who the hardest? come up season. I said, who the hardest? Uh, 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 rapper come out of Kansas City, Missouri. They say, I don't, ain't nobody harder than uh, Rich the Factor. Rich yeah. the fact. I said, nigga, I ain't never even heard of no Rich the Factor. <laughs> and they were like, uh, well, uh, he is hard. Well, after that, I did research and he, I locked in with him and I love, I like what I see. Yeah. But, Still, you got written. But you he got, ain't as hard yeah, as Tech. I got Tech Nine on the wall with me. We took pictures in 2009. Wasn't nobody hustling that I seen during that time. So for me, I'm trying to figure out how in the hell y'all could just really erase. That's what they do to the South erase a lot of times. Erase the time. Erase the people out of the whole context. I don't get that. But you can't do that when the person them did the work like a Tech Nine or like uh, the, the like the rap a lot and Scarface and the Ghetto Boys. No, I agree and, with and, you. You know, but it's a lot of time when it or, or Big Mike them for me. Certain people down here, UGK, you can't tell me they talk about the oh man, you can go listen to this album. You don't skip a song. I hear these niggas on the East and the West Coast and maybe even in the Midwest. I don't know, but I'm just <laughs> telling you, they they they'll they'll do their little list, but they'll leave out a lot of people that they shouldn't leave out. And I think that's horrible. So I always go off whenever I see people trying no, to No, hey, that. you know, that's when I that's when I followed you on Instagram. That's when Mike. you were hitting me yeah, up trying that's to, when I, I didn't know who you were. I said, yeah. who the crazy nigga here? <laughs> no, nah, nigga going hard hey, to take nah, for real, because what you were saying was true. That We have that debate once a week in Kansas City in some room <laughs> yeah. about disrespecting Tech 9 and putting somebody over him. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, but you know, you know how this uh, Tech Nine elevated past Kansas City. Yeah, but Tech Nine did that to itself too, because he did a lot of underground marketing. People were coming to my store trying to buy clothes. I never heard of these clothes. He had them isolated to his own little old website, yeah. his own little way yeah. of doing things. So I couldn't. I'm like, who is this weird nigga coming over asking me for this stuff? I can't get. So you can't <laughs> even call the nigga to get the clothes really yeah. unless you buy them off the website. The strange music website. That's yeah. right. And then yeah. you gotta yeah. buy them and sell them. He ain't giving me no double down. No, he should. <laughs> been sending me some half off because it's, it's half the tag time 2.2 .2 in the game we in yeah. I couldn't even get nothing from yeah. it but at the end of the day that's 
that's what people, they loved his stuff and they would come to my store. This store been here 17 years and they would come here to try to buy his merchandise. He got a lot of people that follow him, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, you. But that's smart for him to yeah. have his own website and do all of that because it makes everybody come to him. Cause when you're saying that, I think about YouTube and how everybody is so dependent on YouTube. And if YouTube turn around and say, okay, delete yours today. I don't. You've been messing up. Let That's him do right. it too many times. You Let him do it too many That's times. Right. Let him do it too many times. Now be a nigga like Mark Zuckerberg. He created thir three, and I'm pretty sure he can create another YouTube. Yes, so let but him then play. you're dependent on let Mark Zuckerberg you These too, people know. Rather than having your own, like Tech Nine, he has yeah, his own Tech website. Yeah, Tech Nine got his own. Don't get it twisted. I think more people are going to graduate to that. But I'm telling you now, it's a lot of people with money, and if YouTube or anybody try to play games, these folks will come together and debunk them. I'm telling you right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You get out of line too much because you monopolize and you think it can't happen. Go on and do it. Keep playing. You keep playing with these folks and their money and their time and I guarantee you it's going to find a way to be debunked. How much you bet? I think with anything if you, you take a few powerful people from that they can overthrow. That's any, right. Yeah, That's yeah, right. They just sure. they respecting it but they don't have to if you piss them off. Yeah. I don't want Am Mark, I right? I don't want Mark to ever get that, to ever do something like YouTube. He can. He can. But the reason smart. why, yeah. the reason why, to me, it seem like it's a monopoly now. It's always a monopoly. Meaning like, that's too many platforms. He alone. Listen to me. When the money gets so high up, they all hang together. They all talk. They all respect each other. They know what they're doing. Bill Gates, uh, uh, Elon Musk, uh, 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 Warren Buffett, uh, uh and that's why I trip off because you got Robert Smith and he way down the road. He's the richest black man, American black man, but he eight billion. You talking people that's got two hundred billion? Yeah, it's a whole big. It's a big. It's a big yeah. difference when it come down to people that don't look like us. And I think a lot of times people don't look at that and really be honest. But those people help each other. Don't never think these people don't help each other. They all rock out now. They mad now. Thread mad at Twitter. But they know what it is. So you don't think that we help each other in that realm? We're not as high like the Robert Smith, the Oprah Winfrey, you gotta jump down the, the Tyler Perry, there you go, Puff Daddy. Yeah, don't Dr. you think Dre. that? Don't you think that they help each other? I think they do help each other, but we have a, a, a lot of us that are crab in the bucket mentality. That's mm -hmm. why we hadn't came together. That's why Jay Z is over here with heels, Kanye is over here with heels. They not really coming together. You don't see no "We Are the Worlds" come together when Trayvon Martin got killed or when when uh, George Floyd Nick got stumbled on. You don't see the rappers or none of these people coming together collectively as a group saying, "Let's do something. Let's do a let's do a, a tour for George Floyd." They used to do that back in the days, but they don't do that no more. Everybody is separate because they don't want you to get it. They don't. They they respect their brand enough to know if I help you, how I'm gonna get out of it. If I help you, they don't do it just for the re for the cause anymore. You know, Jay went in. Uh, Jay Z went on the football thing, and that that that. Remember when he first went on there when he yeah, started helping I them? Remember but that. it but it really it kind of blew up in their face because Nike went and endorsed what's the boy that was getting on his knee. Mm -hmm. Oh, Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. They endured, They started liking him. So when when what what Jay was saying wasn't adding up to what they were saying. <laughs> Think about it. You remember? Yeah, that? I remember. Jay that. was saying, man, that. we 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 you know we he got on the knee. All that, that's over with. Then then Nike come behind and say, no, we basically riding with him, yeah. and we gonna campaign the fact that he did the right thing. And then all of a sudden, now it just disappeared. It disappeared. You seen that, did Completely. you? Completely. Yeah. Like, I had to kind of remember as it had to come oh, back I'll to probably me. Tell they, you that. They, they, they buried that. Yeah. Yeah, they buried so, that. So, you know, I, I'm going to get back to the music. Like, like you got to, <laughs> you, you know, it's a, it's a, it, you know, it's a thing where, like I said, I took those pictures back with Tech 9 and, I, I Kansas City, I remember that day when I took that picture for some strange reason. I did not know who he was. But I did know that he was a value. Mm -hmm. The way he carried himself. Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a star walking around. Exactly. And, yeah, I'm, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm a star walking around. Yeah. So, and I know you're like, who the hell is he think he is? But when I'm around these niggas, I don't play no games with who I am as a person because nah. I believe that I'm a child of the most high God. Yeah. She'll tell you that. So yeah. when I walk in, I ain't caring about who in there. I'm in there. But yeah, at the end show, of the day, when show. a king see a king, he be like, what's up? What's yeah, up? How yeah. you doing? Nigga, let's get this picture. Yeah. Just like people do me. Yeah. So we just rocked out. That's what, that's the way that was. That was in, um, that was actually his, he was trying to do something with the clothes. I don't know why he was there when he was going to hide the clothes anyway. <laughs> because he was up there around us with that apparel. But you he never seen his. He was going to sourcing. And it was soaking game. Yeah, Nigga. that's what it is. <laughs> he 
you soaking up game up there. But so this is actually your cousin. Yeah, that's my that's, cousin. That's, that's like when we go to the family reunions. I just went to a funeral. He was there. Like that's 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 really the most time I see him. If it's a okay, family when event. I come up there, come come do my show. He got to be on Boss Talk. I'm coming to Kansas City. He got to sit in and talk to me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm gonna call you. I got you. you. I'm gonna tell. You, I already told Big Court. Big Court said he'll pull up. I got you. He said I'm pulling up. He, you call me. I'm coming. Yeah. I say, well, we are gonna try to get rich to fact. All of them. All of them. That's it. That's where it's supposed yeah. to be, man. Yeah, like quit sure. trying to act like we can't come together as a people, man. man. I hate that, bro. Man. You know I'm telling the truth. You telling the absolute truth, like, <laughs> man. It's man. like the money is more important than just having relationships a lot of times in some people's mind but it's really not when you for me it's not i'm telling you the relationships is way more if that was the case i'd be charging how many people would i be charging how many people in my inbox i don't even let you come on here i ain't never took a dime to come on here man that's respect yeah, i never so you take pl pride in your platform i like I just that. like people man if yeah. I, like, I rock with you i rock with you yeah and if i don't i don't <laughs> so that's the way it goes you don't try to pay me because you can't come on here like that that's I'll crazy. That. I'll fuck, like, nah, I'll fuck with that. <laughs> nah, I'll fuck with that. There's some features I wish I could take back. Man. I wish I would've took that money. But. Hey, man, listen. I'm going to tell you right now. The road told me the other day. I always keep saying that he never got charged for a feature in his whole career. And Silk said that Jay-Z gave him his feature for free. So it's a thing where they just respecting each other yeah. on that level. It's more organic that way, too. I, I like it. It makes it more organic. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not against people saying they got a fee or whatever for what they doing. You got to respect it. But, um, you know, when it's completely organic like that and they just respect your movement or they respect the way you came at them or, you know, just it could be anything that mm -hmm. make them respect what you're doing. Uh, they can, you know, but, uh, yeah. I think I think you, you cap, to be honest with you. What you mean? Cap about what? <laughs> I just don't think, I mean, you know, some people be talking and that's cap. I think if, uh, if you get up on your feet and whatever and you blow up, Oh no no hold no! Hold on, no. hold on, blow no. up, and then you go, you no. gonna turn around, and charge. No, uh, no, 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 you gonna charge tech No, 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 no. You a charge? No, ask. I don't know. Hey, I want everybody. To, what a camera? Which camera we <laughs> All on? All these cameras on you. Hey, uh, comment and this one. If if I ever gave you a free feature, comment. Hey, hey, they, they from Kansas City, obviously. <laughs> if you in Kansas City and I gave you a free feature, tell them about me. I I'm I'm over. I done did how oh he he did I, I done did over I had to do at least sixty free features, bro. Really? At least sixty. At least. That's this good. year, this year I already been this week I did a free feature. You know what I'm saying? I, it ain't bro, really a, I ain't one really one of them songs blow the hell up to a billion, two trillion streams and and and, and people is calling you, knocking your door oh, down. Hey, even better. I, I just did a feature for a dude a few weeks ago. One of his homies hit me up a couple of weeks later. That was only one person. I still appreciate it. That was somebody who wasn't up on me. He said, I heard you with such and such, man. I, I, I'm a fan now. You know, I'll, I'll take that one. You know, yeah. that only took me 10 minutes of my life. That's what it's all you know about. I'm just, I'm, I'm giving the people something to think about, about how you approach these situations. Cause it's business. I know yeah, it's, yeah, it's business. It sure. costs. It costs us. I do want my publishing though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, the record out. Here I, got, we go. I can send you my ass cap. Oh, Remember the ID? publishing becomes a big issue, boy. Yeah, I want my publishing though, but well, you just got to You got to get that. You say you gonna get it one word or other. <laughs> it's tough though, cause I think the game wasn't like it is now too. Cause a lot of time back in the days these bigger labels handled a lot of your business and yeah. and, and that made it even complicated. Now yeah. we're handling it on our own now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that even makes different barriers be put up. So, yeah. But it's good because back then you didn't know anything about the business. You were just an artist. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, so now you have your hands on everything. Yeah, everybody start off. Now everybody, 99% of all the artists start off independent. Like everything you doing is independent. Like, okay, I got a question. What did Tech 9 what have he ever said to you to help you to you know kind of understand the business it's things that, yeah <laughs> i would tell you one funny something thing something that he's done to help your let career let me tell you one funny thing about that i just was dante's talking to me that's what they call him you know what i'm saying i was on him i, I had seen him maybe three or four times within a, a month span and the first time he said hey uh send me whatever you hear me on i'm on it Boom. that was that was a uh, we was outside his tour bus the next week I see him, I'm like, bro, I sent you the record. He said, I got you. I see him again the third time. I don't even say nothing to him. He say something to me. I'm going to get you on that record. The fourth time, I'm like, man, what's up? What's up with that record? He said, hey, 
I'm I just got turned down by Sade. I'm waiting on J. Cole to send me back a feature and every hey, everything gonna happen when it's supposed to. I got you. I got he kinda like told me like, hey, matter of fact, send me another one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> send me something else that's gonna make me do it right then and there. Man, I respected him right there for that because he was just keeping it straight raw with mm-hmm. me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He was, he was, he ain't going, I don't, I, and I never wanted a handout. I didn't even tell nobody that was my family. Wait until a minute, like, you got cousins. I got cousins, right? Yeah. I got cousins that I really, I'm cousin with the nigga. Yeah, yeah. But I really don't know the nigga. See, see, I'm. Uh, wait a minute, wait yeah. a minute. I got, I got, that's good right there. Like, I don't be, I got cousins right now that I ain't seen but one time. Oh, okay, that's okay. my okay. first cousin. Okay. In L.A. Yeah. And they, I ain't never even seen their mama. That's my auntie. Hold on, I will. Listen, man. Yeah. It, just because the nigga say your cousin. Nah. Don't really mean y'all ain't nah. out the same bowl together, nigga. Nah, nah. No, nah, like, you can't nah. call that. Call that nigga then. I just called him. You know what I'm talking about? I just about? called him. No, nah, I'm just giving him. We, 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 don't, we, don't we don't got no. Look, he just sent me pictures. Dog. We don't got, like, no un, un, oh, un, un. so the nigga really rock with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's why well, that nigga need to do the song. Man, he do what he feel like. <laughs> Man, he do what he feel. That, hey, listen, he, hey, he's a real. Hey, that's one of the get that trillion uh, stream song and watch how fast he Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. See, that's I, all that means you gotta step your game <laughs> up. Good. You I, got a hundred projects. You got a hundred albums. Send that nigga all hundred of them and say, "Pick from that." <laughs> Fit from that. You know I, I, I ain't worried about it. I ain't you know worried about it for real. Hey, I'm pushing. I already, every, hey, how it go down, you know it's going to go down. I ain't really, man, I ain't you pressing can't worry about it. Man, listen, yeah. man. It's going to happen. Man, it don't really matter if it do or if it don't, man. You putting it down. Man. Yeah. You got a hundred projects, and I'm, let me tell you something. It's always been for me content over create. Yeah. So a lot of time when you putting that content and that, and that, and, and how many videos are you doing with these projects? Uh, I'm at least doing one. You need to be doing three. I'm, three to five. Man. How many songs on the project? Uh, uh, lately, I've been see we you know how many songs on, you know, on the just, damn project? Hold on, it, just, it got it switched because uh, at the beginning of the year I had a project with thirty three songs on it. Uh, that was my thirty third birthday, okay. so I put thirty three records on That's it. Whole and then you know uh, you know sometimes you do twenty. This summer, I started four weeks ago. I'm dropping every week until September. I forgot what the date is. I love thirteen weeks yesterday. straight. Uh, I've been doing ten a piece, so That's I've been dropping uh, ten every week. So then three hundred and sixty. You did three hundred and sixty. Yeah, I did three hundred and sixty five. I did it. Hey, and hold on, and I want you to be clear on this. I recorded a song every day and put it out. I didn't have nothing sitting out. I didn't do two this day. Oh, I wow. I did a song every day. I was just explaining to the dude at the studio. I just met a dope engineer. I think it was uh, BC Studios. I, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. It was around the corner. It's in Oak Cliff or something like that. Okay. And uh, I was explaining to him. It didn't matter what we was doing. I was in Vegas. We missed a flight. So we supposed to be at home at a certain time. Instead of sitting at the airport to get my my song done for the day, you found a we went right now. Nah, we went right back to the, because I had the studio with me. I take okay. it everywhere I go. Okay. We went right back to the hotel room, checked in, and did the song, then went back up to the <laughs> airport. You know what I'm saying? No matter what we doing. Like, I didn't even want you to around me if you wasn't going to stop me and say, hey, we got to go do knock that record what out for today. What gave you the drive to do mm-hmm. that like that? I, th- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think it was God. Like, I was really, you know, I was just sitting, I was just sitting around, like, it came to me. I don't, I don't know how, it, I don't even I think know. you secretly was in competition trying to catch up with Tech Nine because of all the stuff he I'll did. Passed, I'll pass Tech as far as dropping content. I know the content, but he got the bigger song. Yeah, he got the big, you know. That, you know so you, a, you was like, I'm so gonna So to get to him, I gotta drop a, you know, <laughs> 10, I do that on the podcast. You know, like, I gotta I gotta go harder. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. ever know which one gonna be. One of them no, might for come, sure, and then for somebody sure. might come back later on and grab one that might just go. You yeah, never yeah, know. Yeah. Have any one of them just took off and you didn't even know it was hidden like that? Yep, I got a song called uh, Insane, I believe. It did a million just, uh, it was kind of out the blue over a few months. But I guess my sample was pulling up in a lot of Shazams and people were getting routed to the song. And then it made, um, you know, the algorithm on YouTube. It was just that record I had was in the algorithm. What's the name of it? Uh, insane. It had a video and everything. Nah, this was just the audio. See what I'm saying? This is just the audio. I didn't. I, that record was just a random. On, on that tape, I had thirty songs. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It was just a random song. So. How do you know. remember all of your? He songs? don't. No, 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 no. I, I can't, hey, 
they do it to me all the time. It's it's gonna be on this YouTube video when, when if I make a, people say my lyrics to me all the time. I go like, did I say that? Or are you <laughs> playing with me? You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, I did say it. Wow, but, yeah. that's crazy. So if the song cut on, though, I can remember it. Come back to me. It does. You know what I'm saying? Out of all of them, all of them. If you cut it on, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let me ask you this, man. What caused you to move up to Arizona? Uh. God, How long ago did God you move? moved me over there. I, I moved to Arizona in 2012. I was 22 years old. I, I, I had literally left one of my homies' funeral, left the next day. Uh, it was kind of on the table before then. I was like, man, I ain't never leaving. I was one of them dudes who never aspired to lead a city. I, didn't, I never mm -hmm. even been to St. Louis. I, mm -hmm. I wasn't on no, I'm not. I didn't care to travel. Like yeah. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't seeing that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I knew was just stuck. You know what I'm saying? We we around here. We gonna make the best of this. You know what I'm saying? I heard my mama went on a cruise before. I didn't care about none of that. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I yeah. ain't yeah. never, yeah. I never traveled. But she came back home. Yeah, she came back home, right. and I didn't even, I don't, you know, I didn't so care. So you to got travel. to Arizona. It's dirt. It's hot. What? It's sticky. Yeah. What did you, what did you, what, no, it's that hot, dry heat. It's the dry it's heat. It's that dry yeah, heat. That's yeah, just, like here. Just, just like just Vegas. Just like Vegas. It's, 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 it's the same in the desert. Y'all got that no, sticky, humid. No, we got that humid. sticky out here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just humid. So, so how was it? What was you doing up there? Like, did you, I know you worked. Uh, when I, yeah, when I first got out there, my, let me see, one of my partners say, bro, you just got uh, pulled away from the leeches. Anybody who was, you know, bringing you down from you, perfecting your craft or really pursuing it you got away from that when i when i moved to arizona i was really just able to focus on my craft i man a lot of people don't believe it how i made it in arizona initially because it's hard to move to a state where you don't know nobody that's what i was just about to ask you i went to walmart my second day there somebody said hey they said my real name they said hey i just knew they weren't talking to me i know nobody in arizona <laughs> you know what i'm saying i kept going <laughs> He ended up hitting me on Facebook or some. It was my boy. Like he had moved out. He he had moved from Dallas. That's funny to uh, to Phoenix. And he was like, "Bro, I'm out here." And that that's my boy. I, I call him Gunner. That's my boy Gunner. And me and him. That's that was kind of my glue to stay there. And then of course my time being there, I ended up linking with my boy uh, Derez. He this Vietnamese guy, real dope talent. He's actually the graphic designer for URL. He's okay. like, mm -hmm. okay. he's they he's they graphic designer. But I met him early on. And uh, I uh, did a video with him. After the video shoot, he asked me for a feature. So I did the feature for him, and he mixed my vocals. I never sounded like that before. So I kind of stuck with him. I was like, bro, can you mix this song for me? And then we just built on that to the point where we just started doing videos together. We did a lot of music together. I'm at his house. I'm at his mother, his family, you know what I'm saying? He would call me if his car break down, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? I became my boy, but he really enhanced my uh, presentation for everything. He did my graphics and mixed my music and did the videos. You know what I'm saying? How so, long did you stay in Arizona? I'm still in Arizona. I just, you, I just you, lately, you, you I, never going to move back I'm to Kansas City, Missouri. I'm, I'm never, I got a song called I'm Never Leaving Phoenix. You know what so I'm you saying? Never what is it about move. Phoenix that you, you love the most? I thought you moved back to Kansas City. You Man, I stopped. That's why I take, why take nine and Jay. Why is Tech? Is he in... He in the city. Nah, he in KC. That's I've been in KC. See, you ain't got no love hold on, in the city, bro. Hold on. I, 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 before I you came, ain't got no city hold on, love, Before I came bro. to Dallas, I've been in KC nah, for four bro. weeks. That's I've been in fine, KC. bro. But I've been you in left KC him, for four weeks. That's why. You, I wonder why he didn't do the song, which I wouldn't do now with you either. Nah, nah. He nah, already know nigga, what it you is. You done left home, nigga. You, you, you the product hey, of you, son. When you, you coming hey, back? Hey, you can't be mad. Is it because the crime rate up? Remember, you spoke on that earlier. Hey, I was... I was going to jail, seemed like, every six months in Kansas City. It's you like to get out of there, huh? Nah, for real. I was going to, hey, See, I, I, know I left on parole. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, yeah. See no. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you, how, can you say you had a good family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy, mama. Yeah. With a crime rate the way how it is. How did you stay out of how trouble? How did you not get in trouble? He did. But he I just, he did. I, I, See, my mother was amazing, so she made sure one thing you got to do with these kids, you got to keep them busy. That's right. I played every sport. What happened to me was when you get to the point where you think you too grown and you telling your mama, yeah, whatever, I don't I'm need do you. What I, do. I got a car. I'm, make, I'm making $8 an hour. I'm hard. Job. I don't and need you. And but stepdaddy there, he can pull you up. 
Nah, you can't all, do that. that. See, not my dad. That, at no, that point. hold on. That was the, <laughs> no. Look, that was the thing at that point when I was sixteen. Him and my mother, they was kind of in a rocky spot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he really didn't have no say so on it too much. Okay. Uh, I did try to go live with him though. When I left my mama's house, I tried to go live he with him. And I'm like, this ain't for me. You know nah, what I'm he saying? Like, he's nah, saying my bro. homies can't come over. Like, yeah, what are you nah, talking he's about? Right. I, I didn't know back then, but I, I see why he's saying now. But he me, don't I'm trust like, niggas. hey, I wouldn't have trusted them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, but so, uh, so but yeah. I, I just really like I I I, I get it. Um, Arizona, Kansas. What? How did you? How did you and Big Court meet? Hey, shout out to Big Court Holding shout Court. Out, hey, shout out to Holding Court Podcast. Shout out to Big Court. Um, look, I caught a case, and my co-defendant is related to him or something like that. He hit me up and said, "Hey, my uncle." Uh, you know, he with no limit, blah, 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 all this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of that, man. Shut up. I ignored him. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care about him. A few years later, court get into it with this dude in our city. And they That's really court. going back. And court put the put the full court press on him. I'm like, man, who is this dude? What like, it, oh, He pressed him like, nigga, I'll come see you, Jay. What it, no, I'm talking about shot a real music video, had him tied up in the video and all uh, type uh, of stuff. Like, like, and it's your homeboy? It, it, we we just cord. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but really. You know, <laughs> for, him to, for him to, to do that, you like who are this nigga to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was somebody he, I was acquainted with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, what's up with dude? So I, I kind of court on my radar. He did the movie with Master P. What yeah. was it? I got the hookup. I got or the hookup. Something? Yeah. I told Court that was the worst movie I ever seen. I you, said, you went bro, on the thing and I told, told him. him. I said, bro, this movie was terrible. Like you, you making the city look bad. You, you over here promoting this. Like you just making us look bad. That's how I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? So Court, like, man, who is this dude? So you know, he we he get to see me a little bit. He so he started following me just a little bit. So he stayed kind of cordial online. He flew out to Scottsdale. He don't be in Phoenix. He be in Scottsdale. You know what oh, I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. That must be the, that's the uppity part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he's in Scottsdale. He's like, hey, man, come um, uh, come have dinner with me. at my. Uh, it's a little spot by my hotel. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you want to do with this music, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I go out. I meet him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we really just chop it up. And um, I fucked with him instantly because he came at me on some, he respect what I'm doing. He don't want... He don't want to take from what I'm doing. He want to build on one t or on to on top of what I'm doing. He didn't want to just sign me to TME and make me a part of. He wanted to see what he can do to enhance what I already had already had going Go on. Ahead, yeah. I feel like he respected me as my own boss. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As an independent mm -hmm. artist. You know what I'm saying? So I stayed tapped in with him. So uh, me and him really built our relationship simply off uh, me executing. Like if I had a press run, like I I, I think I did one in LA and in Atlanta. Um, he was there, you know what I'm saying? He would he would do the shit like he'll fly the cameraman out or he'll like just how he you know did this right, right here, us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He would he would do stuff like that. He uh when I did Dirty Glove, you know, he was right there. He uh he taught me what a EPK was. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know you what didn't know. no Hey, no, no, I never. I you never ain't sent me one, so I figured you didn't. No, I got one though. I got one though. I need to get it up. I need court to update it. Actually, court. Who did my EPK? I need that motherfucker updated. But yeah. but yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's just um, it's rare to run into dudes who do what they say. You know what I'm saying? And just genuine. They don't never try to get nothing on you. He'll call me and just check on me like, yeah. hey, what you working on? Are you real? Uh, what happened to what you said last time? Did you follow through with that? You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's that little stuff. A lot of people in our city got this weird thing about him. They they like, shit, and well, shit. Why don't he just give us 10,000 and, 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 and post hand us, out. They give us an interview. Like, man, this niggas ain't did a shit, nothing in their life talking about why they ain't on a whole court podcast. Like, who the fuck are you? Why, why, who honest. gonna want to sit and watch you talk about nothing? At you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I think a lot of times you can't take that. You got to take everything they say with a grain of salt, you know, because uh, it be salty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, think yeah. about it. And so, then, you, you know, they, they talk bit, they, they talk that shit, but it kind of died down because court start popping up in the city. And then, <laughs> hold on, this is what he started doing. He start, he'll pop up in the city and go live everywhere he at. So you, you got to stop talking to niggas like that because... 
Uh, you talking all this shit, but he just showed you where he was at, Tim. And, and you, you ain't done nothing. You didn't do nothing to him, like yeah. So he moved like that a little. He don't really do it as much as he used nah, to. He I'm had glad a he don't. No, I'm he glad a, he don't because he don't have nothing to prove, man. Nah, man, he I, he proved it though. <laughs> but you know, like, man, he, he didn't have much to. work. This man he put in, man. Hey, you know them. If you go to KC and you get to know them niggas from the '40s, he from the '40s. Don't let them. Yeah. Hey, I know he all <laughs> them niggas from the '40s, boy. They they, serious. Hey, they got this other side to it. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be with Court at the cheesecake factory or something he just snap into this mode like man let me tell you about this one time <laughs> <laughs> you know no, I love man? that dude oh, man wow. that's, no, that's my boy man. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't play sure. about court ever since we met we locked in there ain't no games yeah man. yeah for so sure I think that's what God do for me man he put the right people in my circle yeah for and sure and it be so real so I for know sure. it's God you know for what I mean sure. so that's that's dope that's why I asked you about him but I gotta ask you this, because um, you were mentioning that you were in um, a court case that you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you at that time? When and was that your first? Yeah, that that was my yeah that was my that was my first one. Uh, I was eight. I was eighteen when I called it. What was it for? It was for robbery. Okay. So stick up kid. I was uh I was eighteen. <laughs> yeah. I did change the rob. I read the robbing crew, but it's not for robbing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like that. That is for taking what you want. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. But I was uh, I was 18. I messed up the whole papers. Ended up getting my time. Um, but the way I worked it out, I was only in prison for like eight months or something like that. So you didn't you know do what that I'm, long. I didn't. I didn't do that long. You know what I'm okay. saying? I, I did a. It was enough for me. You know what I'm so saying? So you never been back since that? No, I ain't. I ain't been back. No, I, I ain't. Good. I've been arrested maybe one time since then. But I, I really, when I. Um, I moved when I, I moved to Arizona when I was 22 years old. Mm -hmm. that, that's what kind of saved me. Before then, I was I, oh, yeah. I was headed down. I was doomed. You know what I'm saying? But because you said that um, it was because when your partner had passed away, you moved the next day. So yeah, I moved the next something day. must have happened really bad during that time. Why you man? Like, look, the, this is the last look, straw. Look, before that, the bounty hunters came to my ba baby mama house. She lets them in the house, and she says she don't live here. My CD covers are sitting on the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I get mad at my baby mama. I move into my homie house and just have my stuff in the basement. So I'm at my homie house. I can't even go home. You know what I'm saying? And then then my then my homie died. And I just, I was like, man, I, I'm going a, I'm to a try this. My goal, I took just a basket of clothes. My, my goal was really just to stay for like a few weeks or something like that. But I just never, I never left when I when I went. I didn't come back to KC for like two, three years. What is it about Arizona that you would love for people to know? Like, why should people come to Arizona to visit or to anything at all? Uh, it depends on what type of person you are. Uh, Other than the desert, bit, what what else y'all nah, got? I mean, when I they got Super Bowl over there last year, I just, when I look when I first got there, I just felt like the the weed was damn near free. The, I've never seen those prices a day in my life. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was like the first thing I see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely that. But it's it's a place where you can expand. If you're from a city where I'm from, KC, where I'm from, the part of KC, it's just all black people. I didn't grow. It was three white people in my high school. You know what I'm saying? I didn't grow up in diversity. You know what I'm saying? So it was a way for me to get to mess with other people. I ended up going to college. I went to University of Phoenix. You know what okay. I'm saying? You know where you do the one day in, you do the rest on the line. I, I did that. I got to be around other people. I just got to see a different side of life. I had never been out of Kansas City t at that point. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really just loved it. And I, and I kind of to see, I started to see the pieces fall together for me. Like, man, I was meant to be here. And I, I wasn't fighting what was happening. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me let, let me fit wrap it up. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna ask you about the Robin Crew, the clothing, the yeah. merchandise. Like, yeah. how's that? How is that uh, going for you, Steve? Man, it's it's going lovely. I am in a in a. I don't know if you ever went through this. My drop shipper dropped me. You know what I'm saying? I had a drop shipper. He was he was showing he love. Got tired doing it. I think so though. I is. think I think that I, can happen. Yeah, I think so. He really cut me off all the way, so it's kind of more difficult now for me to do the uh, the drop shipping. But RobinCrew.com is up right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, sometimes I get flooded with orders. I, I I took everything off the website. I got like five things on the website that I can really manage. You know, really easy. You know what I'm saying? You need a hoodie. You need a t-shirt. You need a hat. I'm sending them to you ASAP. Oh, but really? I used to have like 50 items on there because my drop shipper he'll you know he'll, he'll, he'll get, get it, it done and quick. get it to you. you yeah, know what I'm man. Saying? I think I think Ken, like T. Rail from Topeka, Kansas City, Missouri. My shout out to a uh, Coop. Shout out to Luston. Uh, I, like I said, them little cats came in her life and and caught in them. Yeah, man, I love them young niggas, man. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of 
throw, bro. I, I just love our people. So. Yeah, I liked how you messed with them. I watched that whole I mean, interview. I rock with every one of y'all the yeah. same. I'm the same way we mentioned. And it's just yeah. when you, if you're able to get in, you in. Yeah, but for if sure. you out, you out. For you sure. Right, I'm in. I'm in. You know what I'm saying? But no, like, I just, I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold? Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. We got to ask you that. Top all. three artists of all time, dead or alive. Like, who is any your genre. top three? Any, any genre. Uh, uh, top three, bro. I'm I came up different, so I'm going to say Tupac number one. Tupac number one. Shout out. He right there to your right. I'm gonna go to your left. I'm to my right. I'm gonna go Tech Nine. Tech Nine. And then just because this is what, number three here. This is the first person that ever got me a rap check. I'm gonna say Messy Mars. Messy Marv. Yeah, I'm Shout going out to Messy Marv, man. You you been announced on Boss Talk 101. So that's Tupac Tech Nine and Messy Marv. His mm -hmm. top three yeah. artists of all time. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. Check it, man. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to rock out with you? Uh, Just Google CW The Young Blood, CW The Young Blood. I'm on Instagram, The Young Monster. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm I'm on all the streaming platforms. You know, just type me in. You know, whatever you use, type my name in. How I'm gonna would, pop up. If 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 somebody was doing a documentary for you and and you weren't able to even talk or be a part of it, yeah. what would you want people to say about you? Uh, I'm gonna do everything in my possibility not to die broke. That's what you want people to say about yeah. you. Yeah, that that he was paid. No, nah, nah, no, I'm no, not no. gonna die broke. Oh, that you not just that he didn't I'm die broke. Gonna that die ain't broke. gonna be the whole documentary though. What Man. else? What else is nah, dope that's, about that's, you? That's gonna hey. I'm going to teach my sons not to die broke. Like, just, just don't die broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sometimes when you keep chasing that paper and you're chasing well, sometimes you can miss the most important things like, you know, building memories and spending time yeah. with family and yeah, stuff like no, that. Hey, because at the end of the day, I, they can it, lose all that, fa it, all that money that you left it, them. It, it got to be a balance, but... I think for certain men, a, a lot of us, we need to focus on achieving goals. It don't even got to be monetary. Like, you can die broke spirited. You can die yeah, broke, a, you know, so broke what is in your anything. So what is your um, wealth? Wealth is, I honestly. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Being real is wealth. Uh, having accountability like we was talking about er earlier as well. Wealth. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just monetary. It's, it's just your spirit. You know everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, so what, before we get off of here, like, what's the next project that people should be looking for from you? And, uh, and what's the name of? Do you have a name of? Yeah, the next week uh, I'm dropping. God forgives my chopper don't. Man. Yeah. What's up, man? That God forgive my these niggas in Kansas City. Man. My yeah. chopper don't. My yeah. chopper don't. I it's kind of like that. a it's kind of elevated version from uh, I did a uh, God don't listen to fake niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like my sequel to that. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, man. Yeah. Who else in care? Risk the Factor, uh, Tech Nine, uh, of course you, Big Court. Um, uh, who Sleazy else? putting on for us right Sleazy now. Sleazy is putting on. Sleazy putting on. I was trying to figure us. out who, the, who, the, who up there is yeah, really Sleazy rocking putting out. On. I was messing with my boy Glock uh, just uh, today. Um, two times, you know, we got a uh, Rob Lo the Star got a crazy wave right now because she got the uh, sneaky link challenge going on. But it's a lot of top tier artists in our city. Like it's, it's a bunch. Of, I, I'm pretty sure y'all know in Dallas, y'all y'all got them, and then y'all got the people that's right under them that, yeah. that got the potential. You know what I'm saying? It's so many of us. Tell you know Tech Nine since you his, his real cousin. Yes, yeah, my he got to come on Boss Talk One I'm gonna let him know. Say I'm man, you know. got to go over there. I say that's the hardest podcast I ever been on in my yeah, life. Yeah, for sure. I ain't sure. never had that many cameras on. And the place he do it out of being there 17 years with your picture on the wall I, since 2009. Come on, man. My come gotta on, come man. Since 2009, yeah. your picture been on his wall, bro. Yeah, for sure. Step up to the plate, nigga. For sure. Come on, Tech. <laughs> come on, man. Nah, I love I, I just love the culture, man. I'm always get give people hell when it comes down sure. to our people, man. Too short supposed to be coming next week. I've been trying to link Too short coming in here? Yeah, no, he coming next week. I'm oh, he's gonna be to out in Dallas. Dallas. You yeah. just trying to get him. Oh, you're yeah. trying to get him. Okay. Now nah, E forty hit me up, told me he coming on Boss Talk. It's some views. Oh, shout out E forty. Tech seen me and said that hey, he told he just pulled me to the side. He said, Hey, E forty is our cousin. When you see him, get him. Really? <laughs> that's what he said. But he, he didn't tell you how y'all related. He didn't tell me how he said that's our cousin. When you Man, see him, tell him your damn cut. Tell Tech Nine, prove it. 
I'm gonna tell him to pro- we gotta figure this you out. You go that like we man, 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 I can't be going on. How the hell I'm he my no. brother cousin, sister no, daddy? No, no. We don't we don't do no capping in KC, so if he said I'm just take his word you for know it, it. He don't be lying. So you know he you know more but like than your cousin. It gotta be something. But somebody then if you got married, to somebody he's 40 and say, Yeah, we cousins, he gonna ask you how. And you ain't gonna be like, come take nine saying so. He 40, I'm gonna say Tech Nine is my cousin. Tech said, Yo, cousins, what's up, man? Let's do it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you like to work with E40? Yeah, you know, be I, I was I was young listening to th- that was the first diss track I heard when he this Rashi Wallace. Yeah, yeah, that was the first mm-hmm. diss track I ever heard in my life. Click, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I've been fucking with Forty Wallace. Be, you know be legit, yeah. man. All them man, Sugar T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know we fuck with California. We we. Yeah, I know we, y'all didn't. Y'all ain't been trying to check on the side, but PMC is what it is to me, man. Don't come down here. I love PMC. Yeah, yeah. You got to. I love Respect PMC. Me. What's your favorite yeah. PMC song? One day you hear, uh, and then you go. Nah, hold on. Favorite. I'm trying to get nigga song. I don't, I don't. I don't get into his catalog like that. But I can Let definitely start. It. But <laughs> I can definitely just start smoking. Hey, hey, I can just start. Hood, they call it buck, yeah, man. you know don't what I'm play, saying. Don't play, nigga. That's you it. Know, you know. No, no. It's one. It, I think our people. I'm a big Bun B fan though. Man, you know that nigga I'm a big Bun B fan. That nigga there on that murder. That nigga went out through. Well, that Bun B. Yeah, yeah. That nigga can go. Yeah, I'm a big Bun B. I ain't gonna lie, man. We got them boys right there. Was the ones that for me. Um, just during my prime of my, you know, my teen, you know, right into my manhood. Yeah. You know, I was, yeah, I was out there doing things and that was meditation to go with while I was in them streets. Man. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they, for they sure. really, they were talking, the about, they were talking about the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, but some of the stuff I did, didn't, they didn't get on their track. Yeah. Meaning, you know what I'm saying? I'm in them streets for yeah, real. Like, they was, yeah, yeah. they was in Port Arthur. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm from Shreveport. A little bit in Houston, Dallas. I'm circling this whole like a like a eagle, nigga. Just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and then I might jump and skip down to, by the valley. You know, I don't know nobody, but it's like okay, he going down there. Tell him, yeah, I need that. You for know, sure, so sure. it was it was the thing where PMC wasn't lying though. Like our 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 prices was a little bit better than most in the south. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> barely in the deep, yeah. dirty south, man. 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 <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show. We love you, bro. I appreciate man, that. Man, I hope you enjoyed it, man. Sure. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out. You know.